Welcome everybody. This is uh, quite a beautiful surprise to see so many people here. Um, it's an honor for a Rolling Thunder Vermont one to be here. And um, we've been doing it since, uh, oh God, since so three or four or five, something like that, we started. Uh, I, I was president of the uh, chapter Rolling Thunder for about seven years initially started it and now Jeff Knipe is our president presently and he will come up and say a few words here in a couple minutes. But um, I've already talked to people from the different branches of service to help us uh, bring the wreaths up and lay them on the uh, on the wreath stands. We have a World War II veteran here today sir. Thank you very much for being here. We were for the Tin Can Navy, World War II. Um, what, what is your name, sir? Hank. Hank, Hank Marshawn. Marshawn. Hank Marshawn. Hank Marshawn. Thank you so much for being here. Yes. World War II, sir? Yes. Awesome. You uh, in the Navy? Yes. Right. What's your name, sir? Brown. Don Brown. Don Brown? Yeah. Thank you very much, Don, for being here. We're here to honor you people as well. All right? I just want you to know that. Thank you so much for being here. We do things for all veterans from all wars. Thank you. Uh, I will, uh, I, we've been here before when it's been like 15 degrees, 16 degrees. So this is really special for us to be here uh, and have a comfortable day. We'll try not to be too long-winded. <laughs> Sergeant, could you post the colors, please? Could I have uh, the, uh, the chaplain, Chappie, could you come up from Rolling Thunder and say a benediction for us? Thank you very much for lowering the mic. <laughs> Dear Father, thank you for this day, and we thank you for your presence and for all of the wonderful people who have gathered here for this solemn occasion. We especially thank you for your guidance in helping us to remember and honor our many veterans who have served our country since revolutionary times until today. Thank you for helping us to teach our children and adults about the Reese Across America mission in your name we pray. Amen. That was Doug McIntosh, our chaplain for our Chapter 1 Vermont Rolling Thunder. I would now like to call up Jeff Knight, say a few words. Thank you all for coming out today. Uh, Reach Across America is a very special day for Rolling Thunder, the veterans of all wars. Today at noontime, Reese Across America, it's people like you that are making this happen. There's Reese being laid at all the veterans' graves all through America, Arlington, all the national cemeteries, the soldiers' homes, and also in Europe, uh, Normandy, wreaths are being laid. Uh, wherever there was battles, uh, Italy, Romania, 
Uh, there's all sorts of monuments and wreaths are being laid all over the world at uh, noontime today and uh, it's a real honor to make make this happen and uh, it's you people that come out and uh, we really appreciate it so saying this uh, we'll, we'll get our ceremony started here uh, Melissa has a few words good afternoon everyone it is so great to see such a great crowd. My very first winter here, uh, December of 2011, I think it was four degrees and there was seven of us here. So it is so incredible to see as many people here as they are today. I want to represent, recognize Representative Mary Morrissey. As I always say, it's not a Vets Home event if Representative Morrissey is in here. So thank you very much. On behalf of the veterans and members and the staff of the Vermont Veterans Home, I welcome you to our cemetery and our home. And at this point in time, I'm going to turn it over to Al Faxon, who's going to explain about the ceremony today. Al. Okay, the, the whole idea behind Wreaths Across America is to remember, to honor, and to teach. Okay, sit down. Yeah, you got the best seats in the house. <laughs> that's, that's what it's all about, and that's what we're doing here today. There are at over 1,600 locations this is occurring, like Jeff said. 1,600. When we started this, it was around 1,000. Now it's 1,600, and it's also at sea, like at the USS Arizona. So think, you're part of that. Remember honoring and teaching about veterans that have given their lives around the world. But we also want to recognize veterans. We have World War II veterans. Any other World War II veterans? So we got it right up front. That's pretty awesome. Any Korean War veterans? Double duty. He's a double dipper. And we got a Korean War veteran, our chaplain right there. Any Vietnam War veterans? Man. Any Cold War veterans? Tell you what, Cold War is a war. Don't let anybody fool you. Lost a lot of lives during the Cold War. How about Beirut? Beirut. Grenada. <laughs> Panama? <laughs> Yeah, okay, now you're just showing off. <laughs> Desert Shield, Desert Storm. <laughs> Iraq. <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> Show off. Pretty awesome. Think about that. Think about that. How many here have family members that were veterans? are or were veterans. Is it interesting how it stays in the bloodline when you consider there's less than 1% serving? And look at the percentage that's in this group right here. Today what we're going to do is we're going to remember and honor and teach about the cemetery here where we have veterans interred. I think we have what, 491 I think is the actual count as John and I were going through this. In the front we have Civil War veterans. All right, some of them are very hard to see. But the regiments of the Civil War, I gotta read it because I couldn't memorize it. Yes. All right, so from the Civil War, from the 1st Regiment, the 2nd, the 4th, the 5th, the 6th, the 8th, the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, the 15th, the 16th, Civil War veterans from regiments in New York, Mass, New Hampshire, Illinois, and Ohio. The Civil War itself had 32,000 from Vermont fought in the Civil War. How can that be? That's crazy. And we got a bunch of them here. 4,400 Vermonters were in Gettysburg. So as you look here and you look at the stones that had the 16th volunteers, that was at the end of the war. They got a call up and these guys volunteered and they marched down there and were pivotal in the campaign. So one of the things I charge you with, if you can, is whoever it is you see out here today and put a wreath on, maybe look up that conflict. So the Civil War stones all have their regiment. And then as time goes, because they were from Vermont and the regiments kind of stayed together, kind of like the National Guard. 
The rest of the ones that go further back into the other conflicts, you'll see they have their time of service, what conflict they were in, and what branch of the military. But they don't have the regiment. So as you go through, take a look at that, and it's worthwhile to do some research there. Later on, when you do get to put the wreaths on, the wreaths are over there in the barn, okay? You know, most of these veterans that are out here, their name hasn't been spoken in a year. Think about that. Some of them people haven't even remembered, thought about families are no longer on the earth, all kinds of reasons. But today, you are going to honor them by saying their name. You're going to take your wreath. You're going to place your wreath. You're going to say their name. Some of them are very tough to read, and you're going to salute them. So think about that. Somebody from the Civil War, from one of the World Wars, today is going to have their name spoken on this earth, and they're going to be honored. I get the chills just thinking about it. That's how cool it is. So we're going to do that at the end. So again, thanks for coming. It's pretty good stuff. Thanks. Amy? Um, I can't do this without the microphone. So basically, I just wanted to say I can't do what I do without everyone's support and help. And I appreciate everyone being here. Thank you. Well, okay, nice. You could have said a little more. I was told not to say um, and I started off with um, so I had to keep it short. <laughs> she could say um. If you remember back a few years ago, we only had a few reads enough for the service branches, and a couple that went in the front row. These last two years, we've had a wreath for every single grave because of what you've been doing. Um, Amy started this on her own, and then she got some help, a little bit of help from the Friends of the Vermont Veterans Home. And so we have them all for this year. Mm -hmm. She brings students down that help. So she buys the wreaths. Students come down. They tie on the bows. They learn a little bit about what's going on. How do they participate? They just contact me, they put the bows on, and helpful, hopefully you give a speech and no. just let them know <laughs> what they're doing, why they're doing it, the meaning of what they're doing, and... Well, if you want to help, tackle Amy yes. after. Yes, please. We won't let her go anywhere. Any schools, daycares, anything, please contact me. I'd love to have them involved. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Pat, is that a ukulele I see? It's a baritone ukulele. Bring it on up. All right. First of all, I want to thank um, St. Francis uh, Sacred Heart Church Choir for helping sing the song, and Dr. Peter Kay. Um, this is a song about um, the last salute that the servicemen will get. If you want to all join in the chorus, there's some uh, sheets out there. We would appreciate it because it's the words that are the most important that I hope everybody remembers today. Today the journey ends for you and your freedom lives on. Your battle boots imprinted the world, leaving freedom with their marks. We honor you for being strong and for holding our country's heart. Your last salute will never die, we see it everywhere. The skies, the lands, and the seas. Cry out your name in victory, we feel it everywhere, we feel it everywhere, we feel it everywhere. Today, we honor all you've done to keep our country free. 
You've traveled the world and made your mark to let our freedom ring. We honor you for being strong and for holding our country's heart. Your last salute will never die. We see it everywhere. The skies, the lands, and the seas cry out your name in victory. We feel it everywhere. We feel it Today, this last salute for you goes on so endlessly. We pray for you, honor you, and hold you in our hearts. We honor you for being strong and for holding our country's heart. Your last salute will never die. We see it every the skies, the lands, and the seas cry out your name in victory. We feel it everywhere. We feel it everywhere. We feel it everywhere. Just so you know, Pat wrote that. Very Pretty good. awesome. Very good. Very cool. Okay, we can bend this back just a little bit. We're going to do the service reads now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Al, for that, moving them good. back. I, I, I should have known being a good Marine Lieutenant, you'd move the flank back a little bit. <laughs> Had to cover the Army section. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, uh, I have token talk with the people that are going to carry up the wreaths. So what I will do is I will um, mention the branch of service. We also have a Gold Star Mother wreath and a POW MIA wreath. Uh, and we will do the Gold Star Mother wreath first. But I will call the each branch of service up and then you go up set the wreath up there, take one step back, and salute, and do an about face, and, and take up your spot again. All right? So, Mary, could you come up with the Gold Star Mother Wreath, please? Thank you, Maddie. The United States Marines.
to provide. United States Army. Chet is one of our Rolling Thunder members of Camp Division. United States Navy. United States Air Force. Rolling Thunder members, Fred Blanchard and Bruce Bauer. United States Merchant Marines. And the United States Coast Guard. Thank you. Also want to quickly recognize we have a couple board trustee members here. Fred Dunn, raise your hand please. U.S. Army. Thanks, Fred. Colonel Joe Krozak, president of the board. Thanks, Joe. Any other board members? Thank you for coming. We have uh, one box over there with wreaths from um, Wreaths Across America, and also over in the barn is 500 wreaths. So if you can stick around, help us put the wreaths from the box there. Uh, my wife, Lynn, could you, could you pull that box out for us? And remember, once you do the wreaths, remember, place the wreath. Read the name and salute. My wife Lynn will be handling, handing these out and we lay them on the stones in the front row. And then after that I will uh, retire the colors. 
and if everybody can stick around to put the 500 wreaths on the rest of the gravestones, that would be awesome to help us out. Thank you.